Again, with monkeypox, both New York City and state have issued emergency declarations in response to the outbreak. Vaccine delays continue to cause concern. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook has more on the government's efforts to slow the spread of the virus. The numbers are troubling. More than 1,300 confirmed cases are being reported by the city. As demand continues to outpace supply, a growing number of cities, including New York, are prioritizing a single dose of the two-dose vaccine, despite warnings from both the FDA and CDC that both doses are needed. I've been waiting for four hours. <laughs> four hours. The Chelsea Sexual Health Clinic here on 28th Street and 9th Avenue is once again seeing long lines as demand for the vaccine surges on. The clinic starts administering the shots at 11 a.m. Mind you, these folks got here as early as 7.50. They're in such excruciating pain that the emergency department is the first place that they come. Dr. Virat Madia is on the front lines as an ER doctor here in the city, which has seen more than 1,300 cases. Patients that I'm seeing are suffering. Uh, from pain, but then for weeks afterwards, and sometimes even longer than that. Yes, this is a public health emergency. This is something that we need to have all hands on deck. Governor Hochul and Mayor Adams declared the outbreak an emergency. Mayor Adams in a statement said, quote, we estimate that approximately 150,000 New Yorkers may currently be at risk for monkeypox exposure. Right now, New York City has nearly 200,000 doses of the monkeypox vaccine from the federal government. Health officials here anticipate receiving more in the days ahead. Reporting here in Chelsea, Elijah Westbrook, CBS2 News. On our website, we have more information on the monkeypox outbreak, including how to identify symptoms, prevention tips, and how to get a vaccine. Just go to CBSNewYork.com.